Hi, welcome to Food and Whatever. This is your host, Christina. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a show and I even put up a show, but a lot of things have actually changed. Uh, Ashley got married this past summer. Um, yeah, I am an Hollywood, isn't that insane? Um, but along with that, it's a new season in my life and it's a new season for food and whatever. So let's go ahead and jump in. I know it's been a while. I know that some of you guys have been um, commenting and um, Facebooking me, tweeting to me, and so forth. When am I going to put up a new one? Um, well, today we begin. So the recipe I'm going to be showing you is uh, called the Peachy Cinnamon Sangria. Um, Welch is actually do a pretty good um, non-alcoholic um, cocktail juice. It's, this is pretty good. Um, that's if you don't want to use um, alcohol, so you do have an option. But what I got today is Pinot Grigio. This bottle was about $3. You don't have to buy the most expensive um, wine if you don't have that kind of money or if you're not even interested in buying a, an expensive wine to make sangria you know what makes a sangria I think to me mostly is just what what you put in it because all those flavors are actually going to infuse with the wine I also have peach soda which that is actually going to help with the peach flavor it's also going to give it a little bit of bubbly um, in a sense but if you don't want to use peach soda and you do want to use like a sparkling wine or this something like this you can always buy the peach flavored syrups another thing that I'm going to be having is I have a third cup of white sugar um, I also have some cinnamon sticks and that is what's going to be giving it. I don't want to use the powder because it tends to clump up and not mix well. So throw in a couple of sticks in, and that's going to um, bring out some of that cinnamon flavor. If you're not a fan of cinnamon, you don't have to put cinnamon, but that's what I'm putting in. I also have a plum. I know this is, a, this is a monster. I also have a, uh, a couple of peaches, which you can actually use to garnish if you want to garnish your glass with it, and some oranges. I have the oranges for to slice up and some of it to um, use the juice from. Um, if you don't want to use just uh, pure sugar, you can also use agave syrup, um, whatever substitutes, even honey if you are being careful with your weight. Uh, if you don't want to use um, just granulated sugar also, you can use simple syrup. If, if you don't know how to make simple syrup, it's equal amounts of sugar and water and you want to put it in a pot, not boiling, but you want to let it um, come to a temperature where the uh, sugar starts dissolving and then put in a container uh, cool it down and it'll last you for a month in the fridge so that's if you don't want to use just plain sugar in, straight in go ahead and drop in I'm going to use two cinnamon sticks um, to your peach go ahead and cut it halfway and then twist it that way you can always grab it and take out the seed you don't want to have that seed in there so you can always get it out and if you're having trouble like i am cut it in half again and take out the seed itself which is very very difficult right now and i don't know why there we go that it's no bueno so we're going to put this on this plate you can add whatever fruit star fruit lychee whatever comes into your mind or whatever your taste buds um, are asking for you want to do the same thing just make sure that you go all around your fruit cut and then you want to twist it okay what you want to do is you want to cut it um, into large chunks I'm going to do the same thing to the peach. I'm going to leave the rest of this other half of the peach to make some wedges to garnish the, um, my glass. 
Okay, now that I have my fruit all cut up, for now, I've still got the orange, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm just gonna set it to the side right now. I'm gonna grab my, I'm gonna set my peach to the side also. I'm gonna grab a container that has the two cinnamon sticks. I'm gonna add the entire bottle of white wine. And I know it's a huge container, but I really didn't have anything smaller. To this, we are going to be adding one cup of your peach soda. And this is again one cup of soda that we are going to be adding to this. Okay. And I know it's going to make it flat but it's okay because I am going to go and add this carefully to the white wine. So now that we added the peach soda to this, uh, we are going to actually add the sugar to it. This is a third of a cup. Again, you, you don't have to use um, the whole sugar like this. You can use agave or honey if you want to be a little bit more conscious or if you want make simple syrup ahead of time, which I didn't do. I should have done it though. And you just want to make sure that that sugar gets in, um, in uh, dissolved very well. I am going to add an orange and the rest of it is going to be cut up for the slices that it is going to go here. If you do not have one of these, I'm actually not even going to use this. If you do not have one of these, the best thing you can do, and I was showing this to somebody yesterday. I was teaching a class on cooking. Is squeeze it and put that, um, put your fork, get a fork and put it in the middle. As you are twisting one way, you want to twist your hand the other way and that will actually get all the juice out. If you, if it's an orange like this, which is a little bit bigger, you can do it in different parts. And don't be afraid to um, just dig in there. If you get the pulp in there, it's fine too. It's just sangria. It, it's just gonna even give it more flavor. And that, my friends, are is the best way that you can actually squeeze an orange or any citrus fruit. I want to see how much of an orange flavor it has. If I have to grab a little bit more in there, I can. If I want to add more cinnamon, I can. Which actually, I am going to end up having to use the whole entire orange. And it's really, really good. Again, you are you once you taste it, you decipher. You you can tell if you need more peach, if you want to add a different um, more more cinnamon to it. Okay. Now that I have all of that, we are going to add the fruit. You want to cut your orange, um, not too th depending on how you like it. I don't like mine too thin and I don't like mine too thick. So this right here is perfect. The orange is really, really pretty. So you want to start dropping it in. Okay, so this is all we have to do. We're going to mix it one more time. Um, if you are going to do this for a party uh, or anything like that, do it the night before. Let it sit a few hours or 24 hours. All the flavors will infuse together. Really nice. Again, try this recipe. Even if you don't drink alcohol, try it with a non-alcoholic drink. A sparkling non-alcoholic white grape like Welch's make. Um, this is a really, really good um, summery light drink. Um, one thing I do want to mention, if you are going to make this, this is only an adult drink. The only time this becomes a everybody drink is when you use non-alcoholic drink. Do not feed it to a child if it does have alcohol. 
if you are going to drive uh, and drink this, don't do it. Uh, be responsible. Have somebody else drive you. This is not uh, a drink to take lightly. Since I love the fruit, I'm actually going to add some fruit to it. I'm going to grab a spoon. I'm going to add some of the peaches and some of the plums in here and some of the orange pieces. I'm going to close this up. You can either decorate it a few ways. You can actually um, add a peach slice to it. If you have plum, you can add plum to it. If you want, you can grab an orange slice and do it. But since this is a peachy sangria, I'm actually going to use a piece a peach. Cut it, not all the way, and just lay it on top. Oh, there you go. And that's, you can serve it like that, okay? And as usual, I have to taste it, so. This is such a good drink. Um, you can taste the peach and the orange and everything. It's really good. Again, I want to emphasize this is an adult drink, not a children's drink, no matter how much fruit you put in it. Um, so thank you for watching. God bless. Enjoy, and please write to me. I love it when you guys communicate to me. Um, I actually do write back. And those who have written to me know that I write to you immediately as, as soon as I am I'm able to. So enjoy everything, enjoy life, and be helpful to each other. God bless.